प्लीज गेट रेडी फॉर ट्रांसक्रिप्शन नंबर फोर डबल सेवन एंड फोर सेवेंटी एट फाइव सेकेंड्स स्टार्ट एन अदर इंटरेस्टिंग डेवलपमेंट इन रिसेंट ईयर्स हैज बीन द इंस्टीट्यूशन ऑफ समर स्कूल्स और सेमिनार्स वेयर टीचर्स एंड यंग वर्कर्स इन डिफरेंट फील्ड्स ऑफ स्टडीज whether it be science or humanities can get together and live together only for a certain period maybe 2 weeks maybe 3 weeks maybe 4 weeks and attempt a survey of the advances made in their field of study the summer schools have proved to be one of the most fruitful developments which we have had in recent times and i have heard myself from the most distinguished scientists and others that their participation in those summer schools has brought to their notice many developments of which they were unaware here i am happy to say that the two ministries with which i am associated have both been cooperating and both have taken an initiative in the matter since 1989 the summer schools have been largely increasing and the university grants commission during the current year is subsidizing and helping a very large number of summer schools then there has been the very important question about the three year degree course this is a matter on which discussions have been going on in this country for over 40 years and the consensus of opinion without almost a single exception has been that the three year degree course is the only type of degree course which we should introduce at the undergraduate level there have been differences as to whether this degree course should be introduced after 11 years of schooling or after 12 years of education or after 10 years of education there may be some difference on that point but that the degree course as such the structure of the course should be 3 years is almost universally admitted i will not go into the arguments that were given by the university education commission not only the university education commission over which dr radha krishnan our former president presided and of which you were sir a very distinguished member but the university grants commission starting with the kothari commission in 1947 48 said that all over the world there is the tendency that the university's first degree should not be less than 3 years in many countries for example in the united kingdom today there is the move for making the honors course a 4 year degree course i know that on the continent and in certain of the arab countries like the uar they are planning in terms of a 5 year degree course but in any case 3 years seems to be the minimum here if i may say so to my mind at times we have not in approaching the problem considered properly one of the most relevant considerations that is the question of age we debate about a 10 year secondary education or a 12 year secondary education but unless we assure that only young men and women come to the universities and not children or people who are in their early adolescence nothing can be done about standards it is not an accident that throughout the world the age of entry in the university is normally 18 and in many countries they are trying to raise it to 19 
so far as the continent of Europe is concerned, in many cases it is 20 or over. In Germany it is very often 21. But I do not know of any country in the world excepting India and the erstwhile part or undivided India, Pakistan, where the age of entry is 14, 15 or 16 years. It is true that the University Grants Commission have made a welcome move in that direction. In the field of technical education, about two or three years ago, we took a decision that 16 plus will be the minimum age of entry for institutions of university standing. In the universities also, the University Grants Commission have now decided that 16 plus should be the minimum age for entry into universities and they have made this recommendation to all universities of India. Till that point is decided, all discussions about the 10-year, 11-year or 12-year course in schools are to my mind, to my mind unreal and artificial. I remember on one occasion when this question was being discussed, a representative of a state government said that no change in his state was necessary because it already had a 12-year secondary school course. And when I asked him as to what was the average age at which pupils took the final school certificate examination, I was told that it varied between 14 and 16. My comment on that was that if we had a 12-year course and the course ended at the age of 15, 14 or 15, it means that the course must have started at the age of 2 or 3. I said that why we should not go a step further and say that we should have a 16-year course. I should like to say that the question of state public service commissions cannot be ignored. The state public service commissions are appointed by the governor. Now we are thinking in terms of the emotional integration of the country. The term emotional integration has become a familiar one in this country. If you want to have real emotional integration, then begin with the services. I see no reason why the recruiting authority for the services should be the government of the state in which the services will serve. The public service commissions will enjoy greater authority, will enjoy greater prestige and will enjoy greater independence if they are appointed by the president, that is to say the central government. That is an aspect on which I would like to lay stress. This suggestion was recommended by the State Reorganization Commission. But I do not know why any consideration has not been given to it. Stop.